Good evening. Hope you had a wonderful Wednesday in the Lord. God is so real and his word is so potent and his presence is so powerful. Amen. We're in Nehemiah 6, but just a quick a backstory of a situation. I was faced with an urgent situation this afternoon that came from nowhere. It turned out that there was an error or maybe some conniving, some shady business from this company where they took three times the amount withdrawn out of my account, thousands of dollars. And oh my goodness, just messed everything up. And when I reached out to them, they're like, oh, it's going to take a couple weeks to research. I was like, oh no, no, no. And talked to my bank and they're like, oh, you know, it went through. No, no, no. And I'm on the phone with them after work. And all I could think of is God is my defender and a scripture from this morning. One of them, Psalms 20 verse five, which says some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I will trust and call on the name of the Lord. Amen. There is power. I'm telling you, do not get discouraged with what the enemy throws at you. He's just trying to see how you're going to react. And this has something to do with Nehemiah 6 because Sambalot, you know, he was the one who just despised Nehemiah and his work. And he always tried to stop the effort and the progress of the project. And four times he sent a letter to Nehemiah. Yeah, uh, we need to meet. And, uh, you know, uh, because there's some people who are trying to rebel in your team and camp. And Nehemiah was like, no, I'm good. No, uh-uh. We, we're going to continue to work. We are focused. And he even did it another time. He was lying, trying to sidetrack Nehemiah and his vision. Look, there are going to be people there around you. Stay focused. And something else the Lord showed him because there was another trick where they were like, uh, yeah, you know, people are trying to kill you, Nehemiah. We need to meet here. And it says in verse 12 of chapter six of Nehemiah, it says, I perceived that God did not send this messenger. He was a liar. Mm -hmm. God will give you holy spirit perception to see through motives he will reveal things that is the whole point of the holy spirit his very presence his power to bring things back to remembrance to teach us things and to show us things to come oh that's that's the promise of the word and anyway he wasn't afraid nehemiah stayed focused and then after the project was completed, the people, the haters were depressed. It says in verse 16, they were cast down in their own eyes for they perceived, uh-huh, they picked up on the obvious that this work was wrought, brought by our God. Amen. We got the number one supporter. Don't let the enemy make you nervous. In Psalms 50, verse 15, it says, I will call upon me. I will call upon the Lord in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. The Lord is speaking. Call upon me. I'm your refuge. I'm your protection. I'm your wisdom. Don't get bothered when you're placed on hold and people are playing games at call centers. No, I know what's going on and I can orchestrate anything. Like I said, you better believe in a few minutes, those funds were back in my, in my account. God can do anything. He's like, don't you play with the people of God? Uh-uh, because he will fight our battles. Psalms 147, oh God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. Have you had some battles today? Some unexpected ones? Yeah, but guess what? God is our covering. He's our shield and he'll deliver us in every situation for his glory. Proverbs 20, because today is November 20th. What would the Lord say to us? Counsel in the heart of man, verse five, is like deep water, but a man, a woman of understanding will draw it out. The Lord will place people in your path that will be able to 
to show you the way you can use anybody. And the just man walketh in his integrity. Yep. We don't have to be dishonest. So let's just um, let's appreciate his blessings and his presence. Have a good evening and rest. Good night.